One of the great rivalries in women's basketball is renewed again this weekend. The UConn Huskies traveled to South Bend to take on Notre Dame. These two teams have had some nasty battles over the last few years. UConn has won the last two games, including last year's national championship game. But before that, Notre Dame had won seven of the last eight games they played. At practice today, the Huskies were asked about the rivalry and if they hate the Irish. Hate's a strong word. I don't know. Uh, I would say dislike. Maybe hate. I don't know. They don't have the same people on the team anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we hate each other. I think hate's a strong word. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't advocate the word hate. That's a sign of respect then. I think that means they respect Notre Dame. Because why would you hate somebody that wasn't any good that you were going to go in and beat by 100? So the fact that, you know, some of them said that, uh, I think what they're really saying is we have a lot of respect for these guys, and if we're not careful, we're going to go up there and get our asses beat. Ah, Gino, never a dull moment. <laughs> Tip-off Saturday set for 315 in South Bend. So, again, over the years, this has been one of the great rivals. It's kind of Notre Dame has taken over as the as the Tennessee. Yeah. You know, that yeah, was right. in the early 2000s. Yep. But, you know, looking at it, I think Notre Dame, uh, UConn is 31 and 11 against Notre Dame. But lately it had been all Notre Dame and then the last two times. Right. Remember a couple years ago? They lost three times to him in the regular yep. season and yep. then beat him in the Final Four and then yep. last year won a championship. Yeah, it was like Notre Dame was winning in the Big East championship game back when there was the real, yeah, you know, the that? Big East as we knew it then, right? And then and then UConn won when it counted most in the NCAA tournament. But for, for Ori, I'm going to say what he said, what we just heard him say, you know he's going to be pounding that into the players. Yep. You, you can hate him all you want and you better respect him because if we don't play our best, what happened at Stanford is going to be what happens in, in South Bend. And he said, much like Muffet McGraw, neither one of them have to say anything to their players this week. That place yeah. is going to be a sold-out gym. And then he tried getting into the whole him and Muffet McGraw relationship. We'll talk about that tomorrow.